This program will take you, step by step, through preventative inspection and maintenance guidelines for the Esteem 399 boiler. Please take note that this program should be used as reference for the Esteem 399 boiler only. This program is no substitute for the instructional manual that accompany your unit. These video chapters are an additional tool to help you maintain and operate your unit to its maximum potential. First, an important note of caution about your unit and its operation. To ensure the continued safe and efficient operation of your unit, it is highly recommended that it be checked at regular intervals and serviced whenever necessary by a qualified service technician. Regular maintenance will prolong the life of the boiler. Next, we'll take you through the Esteem 399 maintenance schedule. The following maintenance operations have been separated for you into two categories. The maintenance schedule for the service technician's annual startup and the schedule for user maintenance. For the service technician's annual startup, attend to any reported problems. Inspect the interior of the boiler jacket area. Clean and vacuum if necessary. Check all control wiring connections. Check ignition wiring and ground wiring. Check boiler water pressure, water piping, and expansion tank. Verify flue vent piping and air inlet piping are in good condition, sealed tight, and properly supported. Check for leaks in the gas piping and condensate system. If the condensate system is blocked, clean the condensate drain assembly and fill with fresh water. Check boiler water pH on systems with inhibitors and or antifreeze to make sure the pH is between 6.0 and 8.0. Check ignition electrode, sand off any white oxide, clean and reposition. This will be covered in greater detail later in this video. Check burner flame pattern ensuring it is stable and uniform. This will also be covered in greater detail later in this video. Check control settings. Here are a few additional items to consider if performance becomes an issue. Conduct a combustion calibration and recalibrate as necessary. Clean heat exchanger and flue ways. Remove burner assembly and clean burner head using compressed air only. Now we will review the owner maintenance schedule. Periodically, check around the unit. Check and remove any blockage from the combustion air inlet and ventilation openings. Check the temperature and pressure gauges. Monthly, check vent piping. Check combustion air inlet piping. Check the pressure relief valve. Check the condensate drain system. Every six months, check boiler piping and gas supply piping for corrosion or potential signs of leakage. Operate the pressure relief valve. In this section, we are going to show you how to perform an ignition electrode inspection. For this, you will need fine grit sandpaper or steel wool. First, remove the ground wire, then remove the ignition electrode from the burner mounting plate. Then, remove any white oxides accumulated on the electrode using fine grit sandpaper or steel wool. If the electrode does not clean to a satisfactory condition, replace the igniter. When replacing the ignition electrode, ensure the gasket is in good condition and correctly positioned. Replace gasket if necessary. Additionally, ensure you do not over torque the number 20 Torx screws. This could bow the assembly and cause ignition issues. The proper torque of the number 20 Torx screws should be 27 to 31 inch pounds of torque.
You will need to inspect the burner flame through the observation port on the heat exchanger. The flame pattern should be fully blue and cover the entire burner surface during high fire as shown here. If your flame does not appear like this, consult your user's manual for troubleshooting procedures. The flame signal can be read from the boiler information screen. It should be a minimum of 1 microamp DC. If you are unable to achieve this reading, check the igniter for fouling or damaged insulation. Check ground wiring and continuity. If everything is satisfactory, replace the igniter. Ideally, the flame ionization should be 5 microamps or higher when lighting, and should be between 15 and 34 microamps when the burner is operating normally. A service kit is available for this unit, and contains the parts and tools necessary for routine service. If needed, contact Airco directly and inquire about part number 58095. This video is provided as an instructional resource in addition to the owner's manual for demonstrating best installation, inspection, and maintenance practices that will ensure the Airco Esteem 399 boiler operates at peak efficiency. Please remember that this program is no substitute for the precise and detailed instructional manual that accompany your unit. The video demonstrations you've just watched are only meant to provide you with another instructional resource for inspecting and maintaining your unit so it can operate to its greatest efficiency. If you have additional questions about your unit, please contact the local representative or dealer you purchased your unit from. If you would like to learn more about the Esteem 399 boiler or other products in the Airco family, please visit us at airco.com.